Hi, I'm Jill K. Davis, a 7th and 8th grade English language arts teacher at Splendora Junior High. As teachers, we often have trouble communicating with parents with all of the many things that we have to keep up with. Skyward makes it easy to send parent emails using parameters such as students who are not currently passing or students who are making A's in our class when we want to send home a positive note. This is our topic for this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. When I first started using Skyward, I did not realize that there were actually two different places to access messages within the program. Over on the top right, we have My Messages, but also on the left, under the menu bar, we click on the three lines, there is a Messaging Center. And Messaging Center is where we're going to begin today. So we're gonna click on Messaging Center, and then Messaging Center a second time. And so now we can add a new message and that's gonna be over here on the right with the green plus. And I get my little pop-up window. So I wanna click on Recipients and that's gonna be Guardians. I always like to go ahead and CC my students so that they see the same thing that I'm sending their parents. And here is the step that I missed the first time I tried using this program because it's this grayed out section here. And I wanna click this plus section filters. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I can do it. As you can see, I can send it to a specific class or a specific um, subject if you teach multiple subjects. In this case, I'm gonna scroll down until I get to the percentage and I'm gonna send it from zero to 70. And of course you could do that zero to 69 if you wanted. And then I can type my message and this one's just gonna say test. Then I'm going to come back up to the top left of the window and click next. Now it gives me a chance to review my message. It gives me a chance to see specific students and parents that this is gonna be going to. And it will let me see how or if they're going to receive it. So as I scroll down, I see this one here and it says that they've got, they're subscribed to emails, but they will not receive it because something is wrong with the email address. So I can see that most of the kids on this list are going to receive the email. At this time, I could click send. I could schedule it to send at a later date. I can save the draft and this would allow me to go back and edit the message, or in this case, I'm just going to discard it because I really don't want to actually send this email. Now, after the email is sent, I can, as you see that I've already got a couple where I've sent emails, and I can click on the little circle with the arrow, and this will show me what emails I've already sent. This is the, the email, and I can click on recipients, and it will let me see who received the email. One nice thing is when they've re read the email, I get a little check. So it does include a read receipt so that I know who is actually seeing the emails I sent. If a parent responds back to me, that I'm going to find under my messages up at the top right. So I can click on my messages and I see where Parents have replied back to me and I can keep track of the email chain through Skyward. I hope that using Skyward to contact parents makes your life just a little bit easier. And don't forget to meet us back here next week for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Mm -hmm.